great sound of the Cherry Slush. Whew, love that record on the USA record label. That definitely should have been the top 10 record. Too cool. I cannot stop you. And let's go to the phone line right now. 732-866-4475. Hi, I was on the telephone line. Hey, I want to thank Don in uh, Pennsylvania for requesting my record. For requesting your record? Why, is that one of your favorite records also? I'm Dick Coughlin. I'm the drummer from the Cherry Slush. You're kidding me. No. Oh, my God, we haven't spoken, what, in years now? Been since back in 2007. Is that when we did that interview? That's when we did it. Well, I can't believe you're tuned in tonight. Yeah. But then again, I'm, i got to be one of your favorite disc jockeys, right? Just say yes. Is that a yes? Yes, that's a yes. There, there we go. Uh, Dick Coughlin, the drummer of the Cherry Slush. How cool is that on the telephone live tonight here on the Relics of Rarity Show? And, man, that was, that was a great record. That's a great request and, and certainly a record that I love to play. And uh, take me back. I know we've covered this back in 2007, but, of course, a lot of new listeners since 2007. That record originally actually originally came out on a, a local label before it was picked up by the USA label. What was the uh, local label that did that originally? Well, the local label that had it was a label called Coconut Groove. Coconut Groove? And was that a label right out of Saginaw, Michigan? It was a label out of Mount Morris, Michigan, over near Flint. And the record probably went number one all over the Saginaw, Michigan area, didn't it? All over Saginaw, Flint, Bay City, all over this area here, yeah. And uh, talk about how, how, how did the record eventually end up... Uh, on the USA label, because USA was getting hot at the time. It had, of course, you know, a hit record with kind of a drag by the Buckinghams. So that was, you know, for you guys, that was like kind of like a major label to uh, to have been picked up by, correct? Yeah, the um, record kind of got picked up by, it was being played in Michigan, Indiana, Ohio, and it would bleed up into the, into the Chicago area. And that's where uh, the guys from USA Records... Uh, heard the song and one of the radio stations in Chicago started uh, playing it and uh, the guys at USA they got a hold of the guys at uh, Coconut Groove and uh, we just kind of put a deal together and uh, we ended up uh, label mates with the Buckingham now talk about the expectation uh, you know, how, how old were you at the time the record came out and talk about uh, the expectations and, and perhaps the disappointment uh, because I guess everybody who hears that record, and you know you've heard this many times, not just from, from me, but from multiple disc jockeys, from multiple people who love the music of the 60s, but everybody pretty much said that that was a record that sounded like a definite hit. So talk about some of the expectations, you know, expectations, maybe talk about some of the early, uh, as things were going well, TV shows that you might have been doing, uh, radio stations that started to add the record, and then if you could share with us some of the uh, the, the disappointment of that as well. Yeah, we, uh, uh, as far as radio stations that uh, were playing at uh, uh, CKLW, uh, WLF in Chicago, uh, it was number one at WYND in uh, Sarasota, Florida. Uh, so, so I mean, you mentioned one right off the bat, WLS in Chicago. Oh, yeah. uh, you know, uh, so Clark Weber was was kind enough to add that to the station, huh? Absolutely. You know, and we had Clark on our show not too long. 